everybody, Patty Ann here. Remember yesterday when I was showing you how to make this super cute mug with sublimation, or you could sublimate this onto a t-shirt, or you could simply iron it on with that iron on printable HTV onto a shirt. But anyway, remember I was having a little trouble with the carriage and I was having to go step by step. I was watching a video over on Shakia's website. Uh, she's Sillaholics Anonymous and she jogged my memory on how to do this. So I want to share it with you guys today. Okay, as you can see, this is what I'm shooting for. I wanted the area, let me ro scroll in for you. I wanted the area by his reins to not have uh, white behind it. All these pieces on the wheels, these things here. So let's scroll back out and let me show you. It just takes three basic steps to do this. Whoops, I've already traced that one. Let me go back. All right. Here we are. There we go. So it came in just like that when we found it on the internet. The first thing that you do is simply come over to the trace panel. This is step number one. Select the trace area. And get a nice trace. You don't want to get those jaggedy lines. There we go. That looks good. So I'm just going to say trace and detach. So that's step number one trace and detach so I can move the box off. The next thing I'm going to do, step number two, is select the trace area again and simply up the threshold again and say trace. While that is still there, don't move anything, I'm going to put a box around both and you can tell there's two boxes here. This is the third step. I'm going to come to the Modify panel over here and say Crop. Check that out. See what that did? That cropped those pieces right out of there that we don't want. Now, it may have cropped out a few things that we do want, so let's make a box behind it. And I'll change that box to a crazy color that's not in my image and I'll right click and send the box to the back. And then we might be able to see if we scroll in some pieces that were cut out that we didn't really want to be cut out. So this could be step number four if you wanted to do this step. So this step would involve double clicking on the horse or whatever, you get the nodes. You can come over here to the right and say simplify if you want to and that gets rid of some of them. Then what you all you have to simply do is click on the node, hit delete on your keyboard and that's going to get rid of that part that was cut out. Same right here. Click on this node. Okay, if there's anything else, like maybe up here on the roof, there might be some pieces that we really didn't want to cut out. But this will be up to you, this part, whether you do it or not, because it would still look terrific if this was on a white piece. You really wouldn't see these things. So that's how easy it is. And look how beautifully all of this stuff was cut out. Okay, I can get rid of this on the horse if I want to. And again, I can click on one and hit delete on my keyboard a bunch of times. Or when the nodes are showing up, I can hold down my shift key and just draw a box around that gets me a bunch of them at one time and then just hit delete. So that's how simple it is. Isn't that cool? I'm so happy that Shakia jogged my memory and I remembered how to do this. So shout out to Shakia. Thank you so much. Okay, so you noticed how I was able to go ahead and click on these to get the um, nodes. And when I click on it and delete the nodes, I get the image back. I wanted to show you how sometimes that can be helpful too. So let's zoom back out and I'll just uh, move this guy off. So here we have this one and I... Um, cut everything out of this background, right? So based on what we did over here when we clicked on nodes and deleted them and the picture came back, I wonder if the same thing will happen over here. Let's try it. Delete some of these nodes and, and look what's starting to happen. It's almost like it's magic, right? The whole image is coming back again. So if you really wanted to, what you could do is just hold down your shift again on your keyboard grab all of these nodes and once they're all grabbed the point editing 
panel would open over here. Just say delete point. It's going to delete them all. And our picture will be back again. Just like that. Isn't that cool? And that's it. I hope you liked this tutorial. If you did, give me a thumbs up, please. Subscribe. Hit the bell so you're notified whenever I go live. And check out my links down below. I appreciate it when you use them. Um, especially use them for the uh, Silhouette software. If you're going to purchase that, you can get it it's for about $62, $63 instead of the regular $99 if you're going to get the business edition. So I'll have the links for you down below. Thanks again. Bye-bye.